Hey there, I'm Josh. I'm a new host here on Wisteria Witches. Yay! Thank you so much for selecting me. That was my, like, happy waddle, I guess. <laughs> um, so since I'm a new host and you guys will presumably be listening to me ramble or have the option to listen to me ramble a couple of times a month, I figured we should get to know each other. So, like I already said, I'm Josh. I'm a 21-year-old college student from West Virginia. I go to Marshall University. If you've ever seen the movie We Are Marshall, totally representing. <laughs> I know we've had a, we've really been in the media recently with this whole water fiasco um, going on. I don't know as though it's completely fixed yet. I know a lot of people still are not drinking their water, including my parents. But, moving right along, go to Marshall. I'm a resident advisor here on campus, so I'm actually in my room right now. And between that and my classes, I'm a secondary education major in English and Spanish. I'm also an English major and a Spanish major. Um, because they're all basically the same amount of work. It's just a matter of actually putting it down on paper. So, that's fun. Um, but between my job and my classes, I tend to run around like a chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> you know, like you do. And that's okay. Um, I am a fourth year here, but I'll still be here for a fifth year. As you can probably tell by my list of majors, I have a huge interest and passion for, I'm sorry that I just like death glared you, I'm not wearing my glasses and um, a message popped up on my phone, or it kind of came down, um, so I got really confused for a second, it's fine. Um, also, complete side note, parentheses here. Um, most of my videos will probably be pretty unedited and also recorded from my phone because my laptop doesn't actually have a built-in camera and the USB plug-in camera, I'm sure there's a more professional name for that, doesn't really do so hot. <laughs> it's all shaky and never focuses and so I just find it um, easier to record from my phone because I usually have it with me. Anyway, back to my original point. I have a huge passion for languages. I speak English, I speak Spanish, I'm learning Portuguese, and I'm in like, the very baby steps of learning French and German. So, yes. Um, I'm also an avid coffee drinker, so in most of my videos you'll probably see um, this thermos either like this um, as I gesture wildly because I talk with my hands, I'm a Gemini rising, for those of you who are interested in astrology, that might help explain it a little bit, um, or like this, because there's just nothing better than a well-made cup of coffee. I also have a huge, deep, I can't think of a word to describe, um, so insert other adjective here that tells you just how much I love tarot. <laughs> um, and also Lenormand. Uh, I love everything divination and actually have a homemade rune set that I, I'm recently starting to become more and more interested in, um, especially with Donnelly's videos that have been coming out. If you don't know who Donnelly De La Rose is, please look her up. You can find her in the search bar. I'm just kind of assuming that it's going to be up here. As uh, If you just type in Donnelly, she'll pop up. Uh, you can also type in Beyond Worlds. She, she's, she's an amazing reader of, like, everything. Um, but I love tarot. I started a couple of years ago, about three years ago, a little over, um, and it's honestly one of the most spiritual things I've ever done because the more that I work with it, the more that I read for people, the more I read for myself, the more I figure out about the cards and how they work and humans and how we work, um, and it's just a beautiful thing. And then about a year ago, I got into Lenormand because it has started becoming 
huge in the English speaking world. Um, so you'll probably frequently also see a deck in my hand as I gesture wildly because I will almost always talk about tarot in some capacity or have some comment or segue to it. Um, or sometimes I just sit here and shuffle because I like to fidget, kind of. So, moving along to some witchier things, other than tarot and Lenormand and other forms of divination, I've recently also started rekindling my interest in astrology. I started with astrology even before tarot, and then I kind of took a break from it, and if you go to my channel, I have a um, a video called Divination Dependency, and you'll, you can learn a little bit about why I kind of stepped back from astrology for a while. This isn't really a shameless plug for my channel, though. I just don't want to, like, repeat myself twice. Which I just did in that sentence, because that's a really redundant sentence. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I'm going on, like, all these little side roads here to get to some of my main points. Witchy stuff. About a year ago, actually that is a lie, about two years ago, I finally fully accepted my interest in witchcraft and um, everything that goes along with it, and I started to study it a lot, and incorporate it, and, you know, uh, bring it into my everyday life, and do this, that, and the other. Luckily, I had some really supportive people around. Um, my roommate at the time was pretty cool with it, and my partner is cool with it. Um, P.S. We've been together for a little over two years, so still around. I gotta be doing something right. But then... I don't really want to say that I had like a crisis of faith, but I had kind of a crisis of faith. Um, and during that time, every, everything, almost everything spiritual that wasn't tarot or later Lenormand or any form of divination just kind of fell by the wayside. And uh, that, that was going on for almost, almost about a full year probably. And then recently, my love and interest and all of that has been rekindled and I realized that, you know, in one way or another witchcraft has always kind of been around in my life and it's probably not going to change anytime soon. Um, because I ended up taking a job and meeting so many people who were witchy in one way or another and I said, you know what? As much as I'm not really a believer in destiny, I don't necessarily think that this was an accident. So here I am with a rekindled interest and a new outlook on things and more and more divination all the time because why not? Actually, fun fact, um, yesterday I bought two new types of divination decks. I bought Kipper cards or Kipper Carton as they're called in German. And also a Sibylla deck. I'm assuming that it's called Sibylla in English. I don't know if Italian... I think it's Italian. I don't I don't know if Italian and or French do the double L thing like Spanish does. If you know, please, please holler at me. Let me know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to mention in my intro. Um... As you can probably tell, I'm pretty long-winded. <laughs> I really like to talk, and I really like to meet people and converse, and sometimes that's a really awesome thing, and sometimes it gets it gets me and sometimes other people in really awkward situations. Just occasionally, though. Oh, you might frequently hear me reference my literature classes because I'm telling you people, even if you're not in school, Literature classes will expand your mind, period. My literature classes have affected how I read cards, how I think about things, and it's 
it's kind of it's kind of rad <laughs> to see something span across um, all areas. But I actually have a couple of video ideas floating around about literature classes and how they've affected how I do things um, in a witchy manner. So anyway, I guess since I've rambled on for about ten and a half minutes, I will let you go. Um, even though you have been totally free to hit the X button or hit the back button or just pause me to tell me, you know, shut up, Josh, uh, at any point. But I will catch you all on the flip side. Thank you again so much for selecting me and for watching this video. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this collaboration channel.